Isn't that beautiful, Paul? It is. It smells fresh, doesn't this it? Is, <laughs> yes, it does. This is great. Miss, Miss Crossland. This is what it's all about, right, George? Did you say this is the library you grew up going this to? This is my home library. This is uh, I grew up about two blocks away, and uh, I would come here almost daily. My middle school was just down the street. What middle school is that? It was junior two uh, elementary school at the time, um, and now it is uh, Hedgepath Williams. Paul Robeson as well, but it's Hedge Hedgepath Williams now. So we're very, very excited about this facility, of course, and um, more excited about the promise it brings to young children. What's that promise? That promise is that education um, is the key, and that in order to succeed in life, you're going to have to fill your brain uh, with information. And uh, this is that information process. Uh, libraries will be a part of their lives. What's your favorite book that you've ever uh, read? You know, I think my favorite book is. Um, Better be the one I wrote that year. Yeah, that's right. Hope, Hope wrote a book then. But you know, I like um, I like President Obama's uh, Audacity of uh, Hope. I think that uh, speaks volumes to overcoming obstacles and. Um, and, uh, what about Tony Mac, the ten-year-old? Though, what book? Twelve-year-old, fifteen-year-old. Uh, probably the Cat in the Hat was good. You know, that's right. always good. You can always uh, enjoy the rhymes and those books. Uh, where I grew up. This is the library that I grew up um, coming to. Um, went to Junior Two just down the street. I lived a few blocks away. So this one's really, really special because it gives um, other children the same kinds of opportunities that I had and that some of the people that are standing around here today had as well. Um, and I think we're obligated to do that. Um, that's our obligation. Our obligation is to make sure that those that are coming after us have it better than we had it. Um, so I will lobby and advocate uh, for young people and adults alike to have a brighter future uh, regardless of what it costs, um, regardless of who gets upset about it, um, regardless of what they'll print about it. Um, I will make sure that we advocate um, and uh, protect the integrity of the process and make sure the children have a future. Um, and that future, quite frankly, certainly we put a lot of emphasis on our police department and the police directors here today. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on public safety. But I believe if we put more emphasis on education, then public safety wouldn't be quite as important. So this puts emphasis on education. Uh, it puts emphasis on children, gives them a chance to read, um, to study, and to have access to 21st century technology, and it gives them a step in the right direction. It puts them on course uh, with some of the other areas that have beautiful libraries and beautiful places for kids to go and study. If you go to Princeton a few years ago, and I told this story um, a few months ago, a few years ago, um, Trenton was building um, mini station, police mini station. And Princeton was building a $26 million state-of-the-art library. And I sat back and I said to myself, there's something wrong with that picture. Princeton, who is full of academia, full of educators, is building a library. And Trenton, who's full of challenges, is building more police mini stations. And I vowed that if I could, in some way, turn that process around, that I would. And this began turning right. that process around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I thank you so much for coming out. We have with us Mrs. Guzman, who is, lives right here in the area. I see some of my other Wilbur Section friends, the Grant family, the Clark family, of course, are here. Uh, my lifelong neighbor, Ms. Robinson, is here as well. Um, Brian, How uh, Brian White is from the Wilbur Section. He's here. Um, so I want to thank all of them for coming out, and thank you for coming out and uh, sharing with us and opening this library uh, to a new future for young people. Um, at this time, we will... Cut the ribbon. Hold, hold, hold up, Mr. Robertson. Okay. That's right. On the count of three. One, One two, three. three. That's right. Yay. <laughs>